Hello happy peoples, I'm here in Barrow. If you're watching this, we might post this video a little bit later, but I'm going to go into the Alaska Commercial Grocery Store here in Barrow, Alaska, and do some shopping. And I'm not gonna really use anything that's here. I am going to go purchase it and go donate it to a local church. North City and the whole United States, of course, Alaska, and which makes it the whole United States. So this is probably the most expensive you're gonna get, but maybe not. We'll see, some things might surprise us. Let's go check out prices. seem fairly high. I'm just gonna go with fairly high. Maybe I can find someone to ask uh, how they save money living uh, up here in Barrow. How do you how do you save money on your grocery bill? Maybe they got some tricks. Might be some tricks. Found some folks that were able to the people are super nice here guys people that were willing to share some information pretty cool they weren't comfortable being on camera so I don't blame them people tend to be a little bit more private here just generally speaking so totally cool respect ways to save money here here's what they do uh, they'll fly to Anchorage with a bunch of empty totes and then they will load their totes up and come here and not have to spend a whole lot of money on uh, things here at the local store uh, also, Amazon Prime apparently ships here, believe it or not. Ships all the way to Barrow, Alaska. <laughs> I know some people say like Amazon Prime sometimes they'll even get the same day. Um, and the lady I talked to was impressed that one item came within a week. She was just like, could not believe it could get here in, a, in, in like a week. So that was like the fastest Amazon Prime had ever shipped here according to her. Good to know because yeah, yeah, I could see how I could see how this could put a little bit of a uh, little bit of strain on the old budget.
I found the manager over here. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay, some things seem like they're really expensive and some aren't. So let's go talk to him. Okay, everyone, this is Mark. He is the manager here at the AC store in Barrow, Alaska. And some people are probably wondering, why are prices more than Florida? <laughs> a lot of the heavier things maybe, so the um, like the water seems pretty expensive here, maybe the soda. Um, how do you, and we're the northest uh, part of Alaska, northest part of the US, so how do you even get groceries here? Maybe I should start that. Fly everything in here, so whether it gets trucked from let's say Anchorage up to Fairbanks up to Dead Horse, it still has to fly here from uh -huh. Dead Horse. Sometimes it flies from Anchorage directly, but usually it goes through Dead Horse. So any product, if you just figure like what it would cost you to get on an airplane and fly from Anchorage to Barrow, figure that. Take your weight, <laughs> uh, divide it by a buck a pound, and you're gonna figure out how much it costs to ship something up here. Perishables, is that done with, uh, let's say if someone wants lettuce, does that still go through that same route? So by the time it gets here, you have pretty limited shelf time, or? Right, no, uh, that does not. So a perishable product like produce, for instance, uh, does fly directly from Anchorage up here to Barrow. Um, but you're still limited. Uh, the problem sometimes, even with the airlines, is that maybe, A, they don't have room on the plane that day. Um, oh. so, so it may not ship when you're expecting it. So a lot of times, our product may come in maybe a day or two later, especially with produce, than we expect it to. So there, there's challenges that way. I guess weather. Do you guys ever get weathered in here? or Definitely. Barrow's probably one of the, one of the, most, the foggiest towns in all of the United States. I mean, it's uh, we have problems all the time with fog. Um, of course, the dead of winter, it might just be a huge storm, a lot of wind. We get a lot of wind here as well. So sometimes, yeah, planes cannot fly. Maybe they're coming over from Dead Horse or maybe coming directly up from Anchorage, but they, they can't fly. So, yeah, then we're not going to get the product. So then, yes, maybe we will run out of that head of lettuce. <laughs> um, you know, and uh, no one wants to be out of lettuce, let's just be honest. I mean, everyone wants to lettuce or bananas. Uh, but uh, we don't. We can't control that. So what we try to control is making sure that we're ordering smart, bringing in product at the right time. Mm -hmm. um, just we can't control when it gets here. Just from talking to people, it sounds like people generally make a little bit more money here than most places. <laughs> uh, at least I hope, because some, like you said, some of the prices are pretty high, and that's and that's just due to shipping, then. Just due to shipping. Well, I appreciate your time, sir. Thank, Thank you so much. You definitely cleared up some info. Uh, okay, now that I've assessed prices. I'm gonna attempt to go buy some things for the church like I was telling you, and I'm gonna try to get the most bang for my buck here. I don't know if I have the skills. My wife's way better at this, but let me just give it a shot. theory is that I can get enough food that the church can either donate to a family or maybe they can make it sort of like potluck or after church type snacky type food. So yeah, I think I'm doing pretty good. What do you think so far? Macaroni and cheese going on here. Of course you have to have goldfish. Milk is very expensive here, but who knows, that may come in handy. I can always freeze the meat. You have to have ice cream in a church. It's just required for some snack crackers, some stuff I can freeze, baked beans. What else do we have? Got some cookies, because you gotta have cookies and some apples. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your guess on how much do you think this cost. I tried to buy as frugal as I could here. Let me know what you think I'm going to spend. Here we go. What's the 
total. What's the total? The grand total is $154.45, zero tax here. And that was me shopping about as frugal as I could. Of course, the ice cream was $15. Appreciate you guys coming with me to the AC store here, the grocery store in Barrow, Alaska. And uh, leave me a like and a comment down below if you don't mind. Let me know if there was things that interest you. If there was, let me know if there's anything that seemed normal in price. Because again, I don't do a lot of the shopping. That's pretty much my wife. And she's really good at it. Some of you professional shoppers are probably like tracking right along. But uh, this, is, this is not my strong suit. But again, thanks for coming along. And I'm going to get back to uh, North Pole here tonight. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Uh, we normally shoot across Alaska, kind of li lifestyle, and when I do have to go out of town for work, which is what I'm doing right now, I try to bring you guys with me, show you the lifestyle, show you the culture, and it's just fun. Alaska is awesome. So we will see you guys in the next video. Normally our kids do a closeout, but we don't have kids. So see you in the next video. Bye, guys.